Hello, Murray the Pie Man here with yet another instalment of uh, Star Trek 25th Anniversary. Um, so, yep, um, if you remember from last time, uh, we had just finished a mission um, and we are now returning um, back to. Uh, well, we're now going to try and continue on to the next part as soon as I've regained control of the ship. Um, there we go. Uh, sorry, a bit of a DOS box on here. Now, they said we have to go to the ARC-7 research outpost. I'm guessing I'm going to actually have to find the system. Federation agents report that the new Romulan cloaking device not only renders their ships invisible, they also won't show up on our sensors. ARC-7, a highly sophisticated arcology project Looking into oh the origins God, of continuity. life in the universe. Yay. The project is being led by Dr. Carol Marcus, who, along with a crew of 17 I members, to is dedicated to unlocking the mystery of life. Further information is classified. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, well, I guess that's not it. So, I'm going to pull up my map now. Um, see if it just has the Arc 7 outpost on it. Oh, it does. Ah, well. That'll be that then. Gosh darn it. So Arc 7 is, so I guess I'd better go to Chekhov. Oh, he's, yeah, nice. So Arc 7 is number 3 on the map, which is this thing here, if I've read the map right. We have arrived at Arc 7. Romulan ship decloaking, Captain. Message from the Romulan ship, sir. Treachery. We are aware of Federation plans. Prepare to die. They're arming weapons, Captain. So, raising shields. Arming weapons. The Romulan ship must become... Standard orbit, Mr. Shiller. Ooh, it's a thing. Captain, there is an auto beacon broadcasting from the station. Warning, warning. As per UFP regulation 342-188564.3, paragraph 3, this base is currently under a class 3 biohazard alert. All personnel are ordered to stay if this was a modern space, game, this would be a part of the horrible gripper's about to come out and kill me. Well, um, I suppose let's get here. Actually, again. Save new game. Replace previous. Message from Arc Seven, sir. I am Centurion Ardea Preax of the Romulan Empire. We have discovered your genocide factory here and have summoned help to destroy it. Our lives will not be sacrificed in vain. Captain, sensors indicate a breathable atmosphere in the space station. It seems that whatever Arc-7's intentions, it managed to create a biohazard that is deadly to Romulans. Seventeen humans and ten Romulans are on the station. The humans are all in perfect health, so it seems we can beam over without any fear of contamination. Oh, can we though? Um... Romulans, a race descended from Vulcan stock, but one that did not reject aggression as the Vulcans did. On a sensor, the two races appear very similar. Their individuals are known for being more passionate and emotional than their Vulcan counterparts. I'm wondering. Captain, sensors indicate a breathable atmosphere. Lauren Shields, Captain. Mark, come with me. Mr. Scott, I you think this is going to be a bad idea. Because I reckon Spock's going to be vulnerable to the virus. Hmm. Here we are. 
This computer terminal is linked into the station's main computer. It is currently running an open file of log programs. A Romulan bird of prey hovers menacingly on the view screen. Doesn't eat. This is a heavily secured door leading to another section of the station. Its access code has been breached. Now it's gonna be C. This is a standard door leading to another room on this deck. Nothing unusual here, Captain, though the station's computer may be able to tell us something. Nice view of the Romulan ship, how comforting. This is a very dangerous situation, sir. We should proceed with caution. Yeah, you don't hop into the lost guy. All right, let's use the computer. Spock, check out the station's computer and see what you can dig up. Dr. Marcus Lawson, supplemental. Continued testing of the Ouroboros virus confirms its potential harmful effects on Romulan Vulcan humanoids. As soon as the spill has been cleaned up, we will sterilize both labs and purge the circulation system to make sure no traces of the virus will remain viable. Then all research files must be erased. We must leave no chance that this terrible accident will ever be repeated. Quite right, Doctor, Carol. you may be interested in the medical data file appended to the log. Guess it's a use McCoy. Now that's interesting. There's more here. All of Dr. Marcus' research data on the Ouroboros virus. Let me see. Virus growth patterns. Pneumonococcal mimic affecting Romulo Vulcan genotype. Alveoli involvement in... Boy, Jim, this bug works fast. Is this really the time to catch up on your reading, Doctor? Now listen here, you, you pointy ear. Gentlemen, I think we have more pressing yes, problems. Yes, we do. Jim, there is an appended medical database online. Also, it would be useful for me to experiment on how the virus grows in the presence of different gases. I'm sure the station has the necessary equipment. But first, I'm going to, because I reckon... The virus affects the Romulan Vulcan genotype, Jim. Nothing unusual here. Mm, okay. All right, well, hopefully we've done everything we can do in here. Again, just a quick save. save new game. Nope. Okay. Uh, right, so let's go through the standard door first, not the big heavy door. Ooh, colourful. So let's have a look around. This is a distillator used to isolate specific compounds from raw material. This is a large engineering safety door with heavy shielding. Its entry codes seem to be breached. A device to accelerate neutrinos. Not much good for anything yeah, else. Yeah, but those neutrinos that make it go really fast. This is a large refrigeration unit. This is a standard door leading to another room on this deck. This is a distillator used to... So is that all we've got here? This is a very well-equipped laboratory, Captain. Perhaps Dr. McCoy could be of some use here. Actually, let's talk to him first. Jim, this lab is incredible. What I wouldn't give to have some of this equipment on the Enterprise. I don't think we've got room. Use this. I certainly see nothing there calling for a ship. This refrigerator has a number of specimen dishes inside. Nothing to report. There's nothing there requiring a ship. Button. You take the Ouroboros virus culture. You take the Ouroboros. Nothing happens. 
Careful, Jim. That's a distillator, not... Jim, these vile cultures are alive. I, I can use them to work on a cure. Well, I was thinking of... I certainly see nothing there calling for it. Jim, these vile cult... I guess I'll just see where I'm going from here. Hopefully not running anything really too terrible in the next room. Huh. I'll have to go through the sealed blast door. This is a synthesizer used to combine and replicate chemicals and form new compounds. This particular model has twin gas feeds. James Tiberius. A gas tank marked... A gas tank. An RDAC-1000. The last word in molecular replication, one of the most advanced pieces Look, of scientific equipment ever constructed. It would take us several hours to get this machine working, Captain. I do not believe we will need it. The synthesis chamber should be able to give us what we need. This is a synthesizer used to... Fascinating, Captain. On that. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Fascinating, Captain. I suppose explore around a bit more, maybe something will. Hang on, let's quickly. Too late. I suppose we're going to have to go through one of those big sealed doors. Don't fancy it. Oh. Well, that was boring. Right, so we're getting the feel of this. I suppose we go through here then. What's this thing? Turbines of a Cochrane 500 class fusion drive, manufactured over a century ago on Alpha Centauri. I didn't realize that they use these old fusion reactors anymore. Actually, Doctor, as Mr. Scott would tell you, the Cochrane 500 is renowned for its reliability and perfectly suited Are for a space this stuff? Because I'm getting hey, a feeling. Hey, this thing's real old, isn't it? Yeah, you're useful. Turbines of a Cochrane. I didn't realize that. Actually, Doctor. Hey, this. Up some stuff because there's a spanner there. Always handy to have a spanner. You pick up a large Captain, the fusion reactor doesn't seem to have been tampered with. I suggest we leave the controls as they are. Turbines of a Cochrane fire. I didn't uh, realize that they actually done. Hey. Oh, I suppose. That door. This is a service access panel permitting used up or worn materials to be replaced. Alright, well, let's see where we can go from here. Anywhere else? Is there anywhere along this way perhaps? No. Nothing else I can see. There's a neutrino thingy. <coughs> Do I use the medical scanner on Spock now? He's infected with the virus, Jim. I don't have the proper medicine. Why would you want to do that? That's a thing there. This is a storage cabinet. A small field effect anti gravity unit. Mm, let's not that. You fail to obtain. You take the anti grav unit.
Nothing happens. I certainly see nothing. I mean, I know the security guy isn't going to be. Nothing happens. I failed to see the lot. Alright. I'm afraid I may have to cheat again. I'm running into a lot of brick walls here. Uh, Alright, now let's have a. Where did I put my TTT file file? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Let's go back through to here. Might as well be in a more comfortable room, if nothing else. Right. Okay. Let's try it. Okay. Except for the Ouroboros virus, I'm not picking up. Please select subject file. Ouroboros virus TLT nitrous ammonia dihydrate exit date Ouroboros Ouroboros virus. Atypical growth patterns for L type virus. Opportunistic pneumococcal mimic affecting Romulo. Please select subject file. Ouroboros TLT TLTDH gas. The chemical compound tantalum bilithium thallo. Dihydroxide, colorless, odorless, non-flammable, gaseous at 1 atm, and temperatures within the human norm. Early anesthetic among Vulcans and Romulans, in whom it produces laughter, feelings of exhilaration, euphoria, sometimes leading to unconsciousness. In post-industrial pre-space flight era, a social problem evolved when crude TLTDH became popular uh. to cook up from non-conductive tantalithial compounds commonly used as electrical insulation. Please select this subject file. This is where file. I really wish they didn't Ouroboros read everything because... TL nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide. A colorless non-flammable compound. N2O. Gaseous at 1 ATM. Yeah, and temperatures within the human norm. Please select subject file. Ouroboros so, for... nitrous ammonia. Ammonia. A colorless pungent compound, NH3. A common byproduct of metabolism in carbon-based life forms. Liquid or gaseous at 1 atm. Please select subject file. Ouroboros T and nitrous ammonia. Dihydrogen oxide. Dihydrogen oxide. A colorless, tasteless, non-flammable compound, H2. Please select subject file. Ouroboros virus. Exit. Nice view of the Romulan sh Right, so I've got a whole lot of virus information. What do I do with it? Uh, right, okay. So I suppose we're going to have to let's go back to the moment. Oh, in the long way around. Sorry, guys. Turbines of a Cochrane. I didn't realize. Actually, Doc. Hey, this thing. This is an engineering access panel allowing repairs to be. You fail to obtain. You fail to obtain. You fail to obtain. Alright, so. Take under gravity at the store. Fusion reactor. Take wrench. Ah. Around here. This is a screen and filter for the ventilation. So. You need something to pry the. In that case, maybe the wrench will open that up. 
nothing happens. The panel is open. You see vast quantities of dust and stripped insulation from wiring repairs made to the console in the past. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. You grab a handful. I think he's standing in the way of something, so I'm going to use him. To he looks at you with a. It's what I was afraid of, Jim. I know. The panel opens. Ah. You see a gas tank label. The tank detaches easily. I guess this made it easier to replace the tank every so often, eh, Captain? Right, and now I'm going to use this anti-grav unit. You attach the anti-grav unit. It sure beats hauling it around. Oh, I'm beginning to dislike him. All right. Let's get back in here. All right. So, let's use nothing happens. Let's see, use this on gas feed is on. The machine synthesizes a liter of pure water. A clean drink of water, but I don't see its application in the context of our difficulties, Captain. Alright, so... Where's that water canister? You fail to obtain anything. Oh, there. Right. You take a one liter... <laughs> That stuff we picked up. There. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing unusual is. Oh, come on, this is. That's not the right material to put in. I took some wire. I thought I'd taken some insulation. All right, let's go back here. Back to the engine room. Oh, Ivy. All right, let's see now. A prime source of raw material for TLDTH gas. You grab a handful of insulation. So, I'm hoping that's the insulation. I've got lots of stuff now. Synthesizer room. It isn't that one, is it? No, but it's okay. I can get there from here. So let's try now. If it'll let me. That's not the right material to put in there. Well, where's my insulation? Uh, hang on. Let's have a look. Wiring repair jobs sometimes make a mess. This insulation was left over from someone who thought their repair is good enough. Mm -hmm. This is the door to the sim- In principle, Captain, this device is quite simple. When this chamber is empty and gas tanks are attached, it will combine the gases to make new compounds. If chemicals are placed in the chamber, the machine will combine them- Next, he'll tell us the D- Compared to many- I rest- So now we'll 
let me. Did I have to look at the chamber first? That's not the right material to put in. Here's there. Nothing happens. Excellent. Gas feed is off. Alright, okay, sorry I'm looking at this thing, so it's not particularly good. Right. I've got to use ah cook it up so hang on you attach the anti-grav unit to the gas tank right, now let's use nothing happens you install the gas tank to the synthesizer's feed lines. Uh -huh. I've got a horrible feeling where... Gas feed is on. The machine synthesizing a liter of ammonia. I hope you don't want me to swap. I think we can set this. The machine does not seem to. You take a one liter container of ammonia. Careful, Jim. That's a distillator, not a can opener. What am I wanting to use? A device to accelerate neutral. This nozzle is where anti agent. This chamber is where virus sent. Ah, right. We have to attach something to the nozzle first. Okay, well, let's use... Alright, okay. Eureka, this is it, Jim. There's not much, but all I need to do is synthesize some more, and we're in business. You fail to obtain any. You fail to obtain any. The machine synthesis. I hope you don't want me. I think we can set this aside. Right, so we've got that. You take a one liter container of That's not the right material to put in. Right, so let's see. Alright, okay. There's a problem sometimes they're standing in front of the thing you're needing to see. So You retrieve the Ouroboros cure sample. Right. You fail to obtain. Okay.
You take the hypo with Ouroboros Toxin Cure. Right. Let's cure Spock. There, you're now cured. Thank you, Doctor. Finally, a human response. <laughs> right. So. what else we do. I think I'm calling that time. I've been farting about it. I'm sorry if this wasn't as interesting as my previous ones. Um, what I think we're learning here is that I'm not particularly good at games. Um, now, before we finish, I'm going to use that on. So I'm guessing we have to stun a whole lot of people. The vent is now open. There is a pile of st A prime source of raw material for TLDTH gas. So I wonder now if I go back to this... Oh wait, uh, if I go back to the synthesizer... That's what I was trying to do, a synthesizer too long didn't read gas. That's not the right material to put in. Nope. Nope. Right. Oh, I have a big wall at the moment. Um, I think. But uh, what I will do is I'll finish up here. Um, again, hopefully this won't have too much to edit. We've now cured Spock at least. Um, so uh, that's something. Um, so... Um, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll finish there and um, hopefully I will be able to make some more progress next time. As always, um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you did, please like, share and leave a comment if you want. Um, and as always, if you want to get in touch with me again, share me in the comments or I am at Pyman70. 70. 70 is the number and Pyman's all one word. So again, thanks for watching and bye for now.